What up guys? This is a continuation of the hot dog video. It's what I thought. So if you haven't checked out the hot dog sickle video yet, you need to go check that out. So I'm currently waiting for my banana to finish freezing so that I can enjoy my hot dog sickle. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and teach you guys how to make banana bread. First, you're gonna wanna access your banana pocket. If there's a weenie in there, go ahead and set it to the side. We don't need it for this recipe. But just dig in there and pull out your bananas. Hopefully they've been in there long enough that they're a little mushed up by now. Gotcha. As it says in the name, banana bread is gonna have two key ingredients. The first ingredient, banana. The second ingredient, bread. Now it doesn't really matter which order this goes in, but I usually take my bananas, put them on the cutting board, and flatten them out. All right, so after your bananas are nice and flat, you shouldn't be able to see any bumps in them at all. You're gonna come over to your bread and you're gonna add it on top. And you're gonna flatten it out as well. Now, I know a lot of people like to flatten the bread first, which I will show the process if anyone's curious. The bread gets flattened, and then you'd take the banana, and you'd add it on top, and then you'd flatten the banana. Now see, the problem with this is the bread likes to stick to your hand when you're trying to flatten the banana, and it just doesn't work. Now if you have the bread on top of the banana, you never have the problem of the bread sticking to your hand. Now I know I said that this recipe only called for two ingredients, banana bread, but I like to razzle dazzle things up a little bit and I'm gonna add a hot dog. After you're at this stage, you wanna take your hot dog and you're gonna kinda work it in there. The key is to make it feel at home make the hot dog feel like it's in a hot dog bun. A nice little sleepy bed for that hot dog. And then you're gonna wanna sing it a lullaby. <clears throat> Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Jame is gonna tuck you right in bed. Don't want to disturb the hot dog. Now that it's resting nice and quietly, we're gonna surprise it. Surprise, motherfucker! And at this point in the banana bread making process, you should see this. This is good. If you see anything other than this, you're doing it wrong and you need to start over. Otherwise, the banana and the bread will not form correctly. So we're gonna come over here, set our oven to 350. Don't worry about preheating it. Go ahead and open the oven. Take the banana and bread and hot dog if you choose to add it and place it on the rack. You're gonna go ahead and close it up we're gonna set the timer. 12 hours, start. Okay guys, so that's the countdown for the preheating, don't worry. Got it set for 12 hours, so I'll see you guys then. I know I said I'd see you in 12 hours, but I figured we could focus a little more on what to do with the leftovers, because I got plenty of complaints that I wasn't using all my food. So, 
you're just going to wrap this up in a ball. It should be perfectly spherical. If it is not perfectly spherical, you're going to have to start over. You need the banana and the bread to form correctly. Now at this point, you'll go ahead and open the oven again. You should see your weenie in there and you can place it right on top of it, okay? But James, you've got more leftovers. What are you gonna do with those? I've got leftover hot dogs too. I'm gonna click my tongs. I'm gonna come in here, grab the best hot dog that I can see. Oh no. Place it on my bun and wrap it up. This is the perfect mid-meal snack. So you know, hungry in the middle of filming. I've gone ahead and prepared some more banana bread so that you guys could see the final results. Now careful, this will be hot in here, so you may want to use tongs to pull it out. And there you have it. The perfect banana bread. This is perfect for on the go, you know, if you're needing to go somewhere, you can just take it. Banana bread is a very healthy alternative if you're feeling bananas or bread, and you cannot decide which one you want to eat. You can eat both. Hey guys, don't forget to like the video, give it a thumbs up if you liked this content. I know I sure did, ha! And there we have it. All around me are familiar face. And there we have it, the perfect banana bread. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to check out more of this content. I'll be sure to have some more in store for you guys. Hope up.